Hi guys, welcome back. Um, happy 2019 and uh, welcome back to Gunshots. Um, this week I'm taking a look at the Cesar Guarini Summit Impact. Last year I looked at the Summit and I mentioned that it came in three flavours. This week I've actually got hold of the Impact version which is the one with the high adjustable rib. I'll talk about that in a bit more detail in a sec. Obviously we'll start with the technical bits. This gun comes as a 32 or a 30, this is a 30. Um, ventilated mid rib, the adjustable top rib which I'll talk about later. Um, multi choked. 18.7 board, two and three quarter inch chamber. Uh, we've got a rather nice trap fore end on this gun. The beaver tail has two flavors on this gun. Um, of the two of them, this is kind of my favorite. It just fills the hand better. The other one's a bit slimmer. Um, although, to be fair, this one has the finger trials on the side and they are a bit sharp, just like I said on the Invictus last year. That said though, it does fill the hand beautifully and the checkering throughout on this gun and all the fit and finish is fantastic. The action is exactly the same as the other uh, uh, summits. Um, with the same lockup, um, same trigger, adjustable uh, inertia unit, really crisp brakes, really nice quality unit. Moving back to the stock, um, obviously this one has an adjustable Monte Carlo. The um, palm swell on the pistol grip, the radius of the pistol grip and the shape of the palm swell are fantastic. In terms of ergonomics, this gun is lovely to shoot and to hold. It fills the hand like a blazer. It's that kind of, you know, it's really nice. Everything fits and feels really nice together. Um, Obviously the, uh, the wood is actually quite nice on this gun, it's not fantastic, it's not much fiddleback or anything in it, but it's not bad. Um, and this is just a basic, this isn't a high grade gun or anything. Um, 14 and a quarter length of pull, obviously the adjustable comb and the adjustable um, rib are where you can sort of alter your point of aim and set the gun up to fit you. The adjustable rib is actually really, really clever. Obviously it's mounted at the back with a, um, a guide in the middle and then at the front we have uh, a single hex screw in the end of that that basically you just turn using a wrench that you get in the kit and it's the same wrench you use to adjust the comb um, to basically change your point of impact up and down. The rib itself is um, aluminium with a um, tram line and a uh, silver centre bead and a white front bead. All in all, um, it hangs together as a really nice package. I didn't have, shall we say, a huge, I wasn't like, yes, get in when I got this, because high rib guns, I can kind of take or leave. Um, I tried it on trap first out, shot a 25-75 straight out of the box with it, really happy with that. And then I took it on sporting, where I sort of expected to be a bit ho-hum about it, but to be honest, it's fantastic. Um, at this price point, three and a half grand, it's up against sort of your 692s um, and your Browning 75 Pro Trap and Pro Sport. And to be honest, it, it very well lives in that company. It's really, really well screwed together, this gun. Um, fantastic quality and ergonomically, it's beautiful. The just shooting experience is really, really nice. It soaks up recoil very, very nicely. Lovely. Um, no major complaints some minor niggles okay i did notice as i've noticed in the past with caesars the tendency to catch the barrel selector when i'm opening the gun i don't know if it's just the design of the top lever and the proximity of the safety or my knobbly thumbs or whatever but i do tend to catch it when i'm opening the gun um the major <laughs> major thing that I don't like about Caesars, and this is all Caesars, is that they are the most difficult guns in the world to clean. I just have to spend ages cleaning the forcing cones. My wife's is exactly the same. Um, and it's just one of the things, I think if you've got a Caesar, you live with it for the quality. Other than that, do you know what? It's an absolutely stunning piece of kit. Um, for three and a half grand, um, and this amount of, sort of toys that you get, the usual red Caesar Garini box with all your wrenches, endless chokes, um, it even comes with a set of blinkers for your glasses and some stickers and de da de da de da. It's a great value gun and a really, really nice quality gun. One I think you owe it to yourself to try if you're in the market at that sort of price point and you want something, an all-rounder maybe, um, and you fancy trying something with a high rib, this or a 692X trap or the Brown and Pro Sport. They're all very different in terms of handling. They've got quite different feel. Uh, the Browning is the big sort of monster one. This kind of sits in the middle and then your, uh, your Beretta is probably the lightweight, slender one. Um, so you've got really options there. There's no bad guns. They're all really, really nice. Um, and this one is a great option. Whoa. Thank you. 
거. 거. Alright, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. Um, please do subscribe and give me a like. Um, follow my Instagram, it's at LodiP. And of course, as usual, please go take a look at the Bible website. Bible support the channel, and without them, there wouldn't be nothing. Alright, guys, I'll see you next time. Take care. See you soon.